Lubaba TV. Hello, this is Lubaba TV and welcome again. Today I have a special session for pig farmers in Africa and why the trudge. I want to talk about one pig breed which is believed to be one among best pig breed in the world. I will talk on large white so for, the, for you as a pig farmer to be aware of this kind of breed which is believed to be one of the best pig breeds. I have decided to talk about this breed because I have got a lot of questions from different people asking what are the special distinctive features or which are the special features that make this breed to be most of the favorable pig breed in the world. So if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the bell so as to be the part of this family and to be updated whenever we put new updates in, in Lubaba TV. I won't go that far from the origin of this breed because they are race relevance but uh, what I want to speak for today's session is that I want to talk on the specific features which will help you determine that this is the blood white but also I will talk on those features that will make you as a pig farmer to adapt this kind of breed I mean I will say the special features that, that make this breed the best breed in the world how will I know that this kind of breed, I mean this pig is a red white? Don't worry, it's just easy. It doesn't require any high knowledge or skills or it doesn't require to be a medical doctor or a veterinary doctor. No, it's easy. Everybody can adjust it to mind that this breed is a red white. Just simply by looking them features which are visual and everybody can see. You can just simply know this is a red white from its appearance or its head appearance. A large white pig has a moderate long head, have a slight dishly, face around and a broad snout. And this is the common feature that can help you easily determine this is the large white. But not only that, you must be supported with other reasons or other features in order to know this exactly is a large white because one feature is not enough to confirm that this kind of breed is a large white or it's different. Another feature that can help you determine this is a large white is that its neck is fine, long and heavily fruit shoulders with deep and wide chest. Also this is another feature easily can help you determine this breed. And another thing is that as its name, large white, has a large body size and white color in entire body. So this is another feature which can easily help you to determine this is a red white even though you must be careful because even the round dress is also white in all its body. That's why at the first list, I said one reason cannot enough to make you just find that this breed is a red white. So by using these features you can simply know that this pig is a red white even though there are a lot of techniques and reasons and different features that people know. So if you want, I have another feature that you know, you can just simply share down there at the comments and we like to hear from you because we are learning and we are sharing experience. People from around the world, from Canada and whatever, from Kenya and whatever can just say there at the comment and then we share so as to exchange our knowledge. And if you didn't know, then it's easy for you to use those features to determine that this is a large white and the kind of pig I want to buy or I want to grow is a large white. Next thing I want to talk on some few advantages of this large white. What is the advantage will you gain when you decided to keep this kind of pig or to farm this kind of pig? Because people are saying this is believed to be one of the best pig breed. So people want to know why does it why does, does people suggest it to be the best breed and why make it to be the best so just let's go together and you i want to share to you some few features that will make you believe that this is the best pig breed in the world 
first advantage is that this breed is not easy to be attacked by the diseases. Thus, it gives an opportunity for the farmer to have a lot of pigs. That means even when there is a lot of diseases at the area where you grow your pigs, or there are some disease eruption, it's difficult for a ragweed to be attacked when you decided to grow it in a good manner. Till the ragweed is being attacked, it's not easy because itself, it's, it's born to be a disease tolerance. So this is what is the first competitive advantage. Second thing is that Raj White provides or produce a lot of milk so as for the piglets to consume. That means they can it's difficult for the piglets of Raj White to die because mother doesn't have enough milk to feed them all. But remember you have to feed it with enough and quality kind of food in order to be I mean to produce a lot of milk for the piglets. And third is that its male, the large white male, its pig is a good interbreeder. That means the male of large white or boar of large white, it's used to interbreed another breed in order to produce another best breed. So whenever you have another kind of pig breed, you may use the large white boar so as to interbreed with your pigs so as to build to, to, to produce a most best pig breed. Another advantage is that a large white mother produces a lot of piglets with a good healthy as well as providing a good care for the children because there are other kind of breeds in which the souls are not good mothers. But when we talk about large white, its soul is a very good mother. It gives the healthy piglets a lot of piglets, but not only give that, but also keep them in a good manner, till them to be the mature pig. Last but not least, is that large weight, as we said at the first time, that this is the one of the best pig breed and the largest pig breed in the world. So it's borough, it's believed, and it's approximately to range from 300 kgs to 4, 450 kgs but this is when it's grown within a good management and given a quality food but also it's so it ranges between 250 kgs to 350 kgs you can see for the pig farmers this is the kind of breed that will be a very best pig breed and it may give you the good result or the good outcome and the good thing of this breed is that it can be grown in different areas meaning that it's can it's capable of breeding within different geographical areas so people within tanzania kenya congo rwanda and wherever can just adapt this kind of breed and can gain a lot of its benefits for today, let's end up there and hope you gained something and you have learned from today's sessions. Don't hesitate to subscribe if you haven't done so, but also hit the bell so as to be the member of this family and to be updated whenever we put new updates in our channel. I'm Imandu Baba and this is Baba TV. Till next time, ciao.